Test you, test you. Like the Lone Ranger, not a stranger. I ain't scared of danger. My say it was born in a manger. Nappy head driver, that's me. Uncle Nappy, deliver the mail so you won't go to hell. Nappy head driver, oh yeah, nappy head driver. You can't tell me to stop. God, a lot of things happened in the past year, praise God. All the families, praise God, are, are dysfunctional. Come on now. Uh, people are not getting along, praise God. Hallelujah. People that grew up together under the same roof are now separate, praise God, in their own worlds. Hallelujah. Children I have high expectations of what they want out of life and what they expect out of parents like they the parents' parents. Praise God, hallelujah. Then parents are not paying attention to the children. There's a lot of things going on, praise God. Hallelujah, and it's time that we dealt with the business of the family, praise God. Oh my God, hallelujah. Because see, business is about order, praise God. Business defined means something with which a person is rightfully concerned. Come on now, hallelujah. So the day the Lord is saying, handle your business. Come on now, hallelujah. But now what is your business? Come on. Some people think they got their own agenda and that God don't see, praise God. But God's eyes are on the righteous. Come on now. His eyes are on the wicked. He knows what's going on. He even knows the number of hairs in your head. That's how business-minded God is. Come on now. And we must become business-minded because, see, business is about, if it says this, this is what what it is, praise God. Ain't no ifs and in between. Come on. You can't sugarcoat it when it's business. You, if a business fails, praise God, hallelujah, it accepts the fact that they messed up. Come on now, hallelujah. Oh my God, I mean, they can try to run and lie, but the business of it is, you messed up. Come on. So the business of everything is that either you're going to serve the Lord or you're going to serve the devil. You're either going to go to heaven or you're going to hell. That's the business of it all. But it's time to deal with the business of the family. Come on. You know little Teddy, is, is, is something wrong with him, praise God. You see him walking around playing with dolls and everything. You see, praise God, he's trying on mama's dress and you know it's something wrong. Deal with the business of it and cast that home homosexual spirit out, praise God. Oh my God, hallelujah. I'm talking about the business of family, praise God. Oh my God, even though you have, have, have separated, praise God, you have went your separate ways, you may have divorced or whatever, but the business of it is that child's mental state must be taken into effect. You must be rightfully concerned about the child. Come on now, you can't be trying to keep the child from the parent. It took X and Y to get it together. It takes X and Y to raise it, but when you try to keep it from the mama, when you try to keep it from the daddy, come on now, you are affecting the mental state of the child. And you're not handling your business. Come on now. Because that's your business to see that that child has the best chance and the best possible advantage in life. And that's through the word of God. You've got to walk in love because love is the business of it all. Come on now. Hallelujah. Let's go to Romans 10 and 9. We're talking about handle your business. And the first business that we all need to handle, we need to make sure if you have not done it, then you need to do it. If you've done it and you've slacked and slipped and tripped, you need to rededicate yourself. And if you're walking in it, praise God, you need to be strengthened. And that says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thy heart that God had raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Come on now. Oh, the first thing you got to do is get your life right with Jesus. Huh? If you don't know Jesus, you need to get to know him. If you're not saved, you need to get saved. If you're saved, you need more strength. Come on, you get, need to get delivered and set free. Just because a prostitute or just because a drug dealer has accepted Christ, it doesn't mean that they have stopped doing what they're doing. They have got to get delivered and set free. But how can you get delivered if nobody's talking about the business, praise God, of God? If nobody's talking about the business of the matter, come on now. Oh my God, you got to get down to business with God. Handle your business, praise God. And his business is your business. And if you handle God's business, I guarantee you he'll take care of yours. We've got to sell out to Christ. See, you can't work for Walmart and Target at the same exact hour, the same exact time, praise God. Oh my God, hallelujah, you got to choose you this day whom you're going to serve. Come on. And if you're going to serve God, then you got to find out what the business of God is. Praise God. Oh my God, let's go to Luke. <laughs> Excuse me, trademark. <laughs> let's go to Luke 2 and 46. And it came to pass that after three days, they found him in the temple sitting in the midst of the doctors, both hearing him and asking 
them questions, talking about Jesus. And all that heard them were astonished at his understanding and answers. And when they saw him, they were amazed. And his mother said unto him, Son, why hast thou, thou, thou thus dealt with us? Behold, thy father and I have sought thee sorry. And this is what Jesus said. And he said unto them, How is it that you sought me? Wish ye not know? Wish ye not that I must be about my father's business? Come on now. Oh my God, that's your business. Come on now. Say, I got to mind my own. I'm minding my own business. Well, your business is your father's business. And if you're not handling your father's business, come on now. You operating in the devil's business. And he's your father. Come on now. Oh my God, hallelujah. See, the business of it is his love. It's not hate, praise God. Oh my God, when you are in the business of God, you want to help somebody. Come on now. Oh my God, look at yourself. Are you handling your business? Come on now, hallelujah. Oh my God, you got to handle your business. Come on, young people, praise God. You may be tempted with sex, and everybody else may be running and doing and telling you how they do and how good it was. But if you're handling your business, and your business is God, come on, you're going to tell them, I can't do that. See, if you're not into that, you can't run with that. If they dealing drugs, if they selling drugs, doing drugs, having sex, if you become a part of that, praise God, if you keep running with that, you're going to do that. You got to handle your business. And handling your business means you got to stand for what's right, praise God. Oh, my God, even though you may be be mad at your husband. You may be mad at your wife, but don't use the children as a weapon. Handle your business and do what's right. Hallelujah. Before God. Come on now. They need both parents. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh my God. But see, if you're selfish, you're not handling your business. Come on now. You're handling, praise God, the lust of your business. Come on. But you're not handling his business if you understand where I'm coming from. Let's go to Mark 5. Hallelujah. And he suffered no man to follow him, save Peter. Oh my Jesus. And James and the John the brother of James, and he cometh to the house of the ruler of the synagogue, and seeth the atonement, and them that wept and wailed greatly. And when he was come in, he said unto them, Why make ye this ado and weep? The damsel is not dead, to about Jesus, but sleeping. And they laughed him to scorn, but when he had put them all out, let me say that again, but when he had put them all out, let me say it, so you gotta put the devil out. You gotta put people out that's tripping. But when he had put them all out, he taketh the father and the mother of the devil, because see, the father and the mother is going to believe, praise God. And them that were with him, and entered in where the damsel was lying. And he took the damsel by the hand and said unto her, Talitha kumi which is, being interpreted, damsel, I say unto thee, arise. See, you can't arise when you got heckled. You can't arise. If you're trying to stand strong, you cannot arise until you get the weight out of your life, until you get the burdens out of your life. Some people are married to the wrong people, got married for the wrong reason, and that weight has been building up for years and years and years. Now you're contemplating how you can get rid of that person, what you can do, praise God. What you've got to do is come back to the business of God. Oh my God, the business of God, you got to pray. You got to cry and spare not. You got to tell Jesus all about it. Oh my God, hallelujah, because he can fix it or he can break it. Praise God, that's him. It's on him because he has mercy upon whom he want to have a mercy upon. Compassion who he want to have compassion. That's the business of God. See, in order for you to understand business, you must understand the rules and the regulations. You must understand how business is governed, how God is running his business. God. Oh my God, hallelujah, to get an understanding and to come out of that box that you put yourself in. Oh, you want welfare, praise God. Getting food stamps. That's not the business of God. That's the business of the devil. Because in order for you to be on welfare, you've got to admit to poverty, praise God. Oh my God, disability has got you living under poverty. Now don't get me wrong, some people have to go through disability, but if you don't have to stay there, if you believe because the business of God says that you're healed with the stripes of Jesus, the business of God says that you can do all things through Christ, who strengthens you praise God. Oh, Jesus made the lame to walk. He made the deaf to hear, the mute to talk. Come on. If he did it then, he can do it now. Praise God. He's the same Jesus yesterday, today, and forever. But you've got to understand the business of God. Come on. Oh, he sent his only begotten son. Come on now. That you can understand the business of God. Because all Jesus was telling you was how the business operates. He was telling you about the kingdom. He was telling you about, hallelujah, as it is in heaven, it shall be on earth. What he was telling you, oh, it's time to have your business. <laughs> oh my God, hallelujah. <laughs> he said he came <laughs> that you would have life <laughs> and life more abundantly, but you got to handle your business. Let's go real quick. First Thessalonians 4 chapter. For this is the will of God, even your sanctification, that ye should abstain from fornication, that every one of you should know how to possess his vessel in sanctification and honor, not in the lust of concupiscence, even as the Gentiles which know not God. 
that no man go beyond and defraud his brother in any manner because that the Lord is the avenger of all such as we also have forewarned you and testified. For God hath not called us unto uncleanliness, but unto holiness. He therefore that despises, despises man, not man, but God, who has also given unto us his Holy Spirit. But as touch, touching brotherly love, ye need not that I write unto you, for ye yourselves are taught of God to love one another. Now, concupiscence means strong sexual desire. He said, you should know how to possess your body. You should know how to reach. Come on, all you got to do is run. All you got to do is say no. Come on, and mean what you say and say what you mean. Oh, my God, hallelujah. But see, he commanded that we're supposed to walk in love. Praise God, hallelujah. Oh, my God, hallelujah. Oh, and you're not supposed to defraud your brother. Hallelujah, preachers. Come on, you ain't supposed to run that game. Come on, because he said he will avenge. And that's why God got all these preachers in the rack on the pool table and finna break the rack, praise God. And every ball is going into the hole, praise God. And one thing about it, if anybody shot food, once the ball go in the hole, you can't retrieve it for that game. Huh? Oh my God, it's a family thing. Handle your business. Thank you. 